Hey everybody, this is Ben, and welcome to another episode of Kerbal Space Program. Today, I am going to be finishing off my uh, satellite satellite network deployment. And this is something that... Uh, oh, Kerbal Live Feed. Get rid of... Can I close this somehow? Never mind. Um, so, let's go out into the tracking station. And check out, I have two things in progress. I have the, that's my commsat, that's a lander. This is comnet launch. And then the other thing that's in progress, of course, is my, <laughs> the sidewards hot dog. The, my uh, ill-fated uh, live stream of my real-time moonshot. Um, I've got a couple of things on the moon there already, but so let's, go over to the comnet launch actually no this it's on an escape trajectory let's see how close this is I think I still have my well no we're gonna go to the comnet that's what we want to do next and I should still have the Kerbal alarm clock set correct right Kerbal space program yes thank you excellent so, I'll just stick that, well, I'll leave it where it was, that's fine, whatever. All right, here is my monstrosity. Get that out of the way somewhere. All right, and let's see here. I do have, I have lights on this thing, right? No? Lights, there we go. Yeah, hey, check all those out. All right, so where's, there's Kerbin, there's Kerbin. All right, so what I was doing here, is my periapsis, uh, no, no, don't do that. Um, and my apoapsis, oh, my periapsis. Okay, so yes, this is what I'm, what I'm doing next is going to be circular, circularizing the orbit. So let me see here, what do I got for, my propellant is gone, so we are, Totally. Um, what's going on here? Why? Okay, there we go. Come on, let's rotate a little bit. All right, that's fine. That's fine. So we got 207, 208, 209. All right, so now we got to get back around. Um, half hour until my moonshot is going to... Moonshot's over there. So we got a half hour until he is going to get to near the moon. I don't know. I'll check on it periodically. But what we need to do over here... Uh, I wish this thing had some uh, RCS left. But we got to get this circularized. So we're gonna go I'm gonna warp a bit. This is the thing that I missed <laughs> so badly throughout that whole uh, real time stream of course of course it is. Who who wouldn't miss it? Okay, only a couple minutes away. I kinda wanted to be retrograde. Winning retrograde, right? Nine minutes, seven, six, five, four, three. Oh, neat. All right, let's jump on over to the Sidewards hot dog. I, this is the first time I've had that. Yeah, jump to ship. These nodes appear to be already set on the flight path. Well, whatever. Whee! All right, where are we at? Oh, we are we are encountering, and we've got 
a node here, but what is happening with that? I want to go that way a little bit. Periapsis is 18, so we want to... Uh, this is... These things don't quite have the right... 14... 15... So, no biggie. Let's, uh... Peek my resources. And then we're gonna want to be retrograde. Turn off SAS. Swing her around. So we'll point retrograde and we'll see. Node in 17 minutes. So. I kind of can ignore this again. Stop right there. Right, right. There. Good enough. Good. Looking good. All right. And with that, um, I can go ahead and do that one. I want to add on the sideways hot dog. Give me say like three minutes and we'll pause so if I add that yeah there we go cool com sat com net launch switch to that's nice I'm, I'm double missioning it here uh, hopefully I'll be able to keep this episode from ballooning out of control but Oh, I really gotta launch these. Okay. Now, what have we even got going on here? 195, 200. Okay. Am I anywhere near the prograde? I am near the prograde. Good. Get those up. I'm going to call that good enough, you know? You know what? I don't, because I ran out of RCS. This is the first test of this launch system, so we're going to call that good enough. So, I am, let's see, 18 minutes from there. So, the next thing I am going to need to do is, um, so this is a nice stable orbit. I'm going to go ahead and go over to the sidewards hot dog, and we're going to worry about that mission at this point. Finishing up the moon landing and whatnot. Once this guy is uh, in orbit around the moon, which, where's the moon, by the way? Other way? Other, there it is! Oh, we are, yeah, we are in the shadow. That's why. Okay, there we go. Estimated burn is one and a half minutes. Good, so we got 45 seconds of burn. So, or for, 45 seconds beforehand, that is. So let's bring us in close. About a minute out from the node. Great. Looking good. We're almost perfectly on retrograde target. Orbit's going to be 20 kilometers by 16 kilometers. And... Burning! Delta V is going down. Yeah, this should be... This should be exactly what I'm... Looking for. Ooh, look at that! That orbit I would end up with there. Wow! Talk about a return orbit. <laughs> and when that flattens out, we should have no longer having a moon escape. So it looks like it's about, what, maybe 
200, 250 delta V to have uh, an escape trajector in the moon that, uh, at least from this orbit, that brings you right into the surface of Kerbin. Oh, that's right. I forgot that about this. <sighs> oh boy. All right, let's uh let's slow it down here. That's what happens when you have one rocket turn on. wee -ha! Just straighten it out. Okay. <laughs> That's zero. All right, great. There, there. Fill her up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Wow. That's really decreasing. So I'm going to change that because I don't want to be below 10, I would say. Uh, where'd that node go? Here it is. Go away. All right. Uh, good enough. Excellent. All right. Now, who's ready to strand some Kerbals on the moon? <laughs> this darn thing. I think what's going to end up happening is that I will not be leaving my lander legs there. I will be bringing them back. Maybe not even... No, that won't even help. All right. Anyway, let's make sure my tanks are full. That one's good. That one's good. Okay, so now what's supposed to happen is I'm supposed to have a stack separator right where this is, but instead I have a regular decoupler because this is my large docking ring. And this is a large docking ring, and that would allow me to mate back up for the burn back home. But I screwed it up. <laughs> um, so now we've got these. That's the next stage. And then that's so we have. There we go. Let's see here. like an optical illusion that I think this piece is separating and being nice to me anyway, but it's not. So there we go. Separation and a docking ring sitting right in there that's completely inaccessible. I don't know. Maybe I can crash into this piece. I don't know. That's... So how do hot dog debris? Yes, it is debris. It's completely debris. So, with that, control from there. Got our engines on. We've, oh, I didn't shoot. That would have been a good thing to check. Oh well, I'm sure it'll be plenty. All right, plenty of monopropellant. propellant. So let's land on the moon. We're going this way. Um, why don't we? Why don't we aim for Jeb and keep him some give him some company down there, huh? Maneuver. Bring us down around there, except we want to be going up that way. Up there. And right around there. Looks good. So, I love these tiny little uh, capsules. They're so nimble. So responsive on the controls. Estimated burn is 5 seconds, node in 30 seconds. Very good. Hmm. I thought it would take more fuel than that, but whatever. So, 50. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. There we go. Perfect. 
I'm gonna go pay Jeb a visit, everybody. I'm gonna try to do this. Put down my gear just so I don't forget. Looking nice. Actually, I'm going to be pretty far from, from Jeb at this rate. We got to no, the other way. There we go. Let's try to adjust our direction there. Let's try to adjust it a lot. <laughs> oh, dang it. <laughs> okay. Ah. Oh. And that's how you play Gerbil Space Program. While we're here, Ooh, oh, look at that. An RCS all the vessel's throttled up. I'm not throttled up. I don't want to switch to the one that's about to crash. I want to switch to the one <laughs> that's over here. Oh, oh well. Let's go back to the satellite project. Which I'm hoping will be more successful. Alright, I apparently have to... Uh, Uh, yeah, okay, so I'm some debris here, so let's end this flight. Oh, back to the tracking station. So, there, thus ends the Sidewards Hot Dog, the real-time moon mission. Complete bust. <laughs> to make up for that, let's hope... Um, yeah, whatever. Close alarm. Let's delete that one. No alarms. There we go. All right. Let's hope that we can make this satellite launch into something spectacular. And not spectacular in that same way. Okay. So we got 200 and 202. Right. Okay. So that's good enough. That's what I said. This is good enough. Um, right now we're facing the ground. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to warp just past periapsis um i have wow that music seems really loud it's not that loud all right so um i'm gonna do this time wise uh so warp up here All right, so I want to see how far I am from this right when I get past it. Now tell me how long my orbital period is. And then, yeah, of course it changes. Jumps around a little bit when you're warping in and out of warp. Um, so once this passes periapsis, then I'll be able to see how long my orbital period is and divide that by five. Um, five, right? Yeah, divide by five because I have five groups. Hold on, I gotta, before I can switch from this, I gotta be sure of this. So, zero, and 40, 40, mi 40 minutes, perfect, 40 minutes, that'll be, that's nice. So every eight minutes, I deploy a set of satellites, and that'll give me an even distribution around the planet. Um, so, 
Yeah, so easy. Uh, from periapsis. Every eight minutes from periapsis. Very nice. Uh, so let's go ahead, check this out. We got, you know, one, two, three, four, five. These are all set up on action groups where all of the antennas and the satellites and there are separatrons attached to each of those, which will fire. Uh, starting with the four that are at the end. Those will fire and I have to point this upward, you know, like away from the planet. It's probably the best way to do it. And that will give me a, a nice sort of wobbly ring <laughs> for other, for lack of a better, I don't know, like some something like a flower, right? Like a satellite flower, sort of. Nope. All right. So, so if I want to do every eight minutes, that start at forty. So then thirty-two is my first one. Thirty-two minutes is my first set of satellite deployments. There we go. So, facing directly away from Kerbin. Oh. 16 seconds. Eleven, ten. 10, about 5 seconds. I'll flip back into ship view. Oh, dang it. We're... A tiny bit off from centered. Okay, that'll good enough. Whatever. All right. And so, launching group one. <laughs> Those are not very stable. But hey, check it out. Uh-oh, some of these might be dropping back into the atmosphere, it seems. <laughs> All right, less than a perfect setup. Maybe I can adjust my positioning to account for that, but... Only half of those satellites are making it into orbit. <laughs> oh, well. What are you going to do? Trial and error space program, right? I think that looking at that, it barely pays to even worry about which direction I'm facing when I launch these things. So that means my next launch is at 24 minutes. Let's just get there and see what direction I happen to be pointing. Thirty, twenty-nine, twenty-eight, twenty-seven. 26, 25, 24, right here. All right, let's do it. Launch. <laughs> like a hive of bees. And one of them's way out there. Wow, this is, this is just making a cloud of debris around my planet. All right, great. Looking good. So then, where periapsis? The next launch period is 16 minutes. 21, 20, 19, 18, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, that way. Okay, group number three. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's... I, I kind of love it. That seems great to me. All right, and then we got two more. We got another one at periapsis. This is making my... <laughs> space is getting very crowded, everybody. There we go. So the next one's at eight minutes. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, 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 forty-two, forty-
<laughs> it does look like they kind of nudged off of the previous, the, the the next pair. Hey, they're they're all going different directions. I guess that's good enough. <laughs> okay, and then the last set at Periapsis. So let's head on over there. One minute. Oh, and it moved, of course. <laughs> Every time, 30 seconds out ahead. Whatever. Let's launch them. I bet these will probably work out the best, won't they? Won't they? Let's face the planet instead, so I can see them. All right, group five. Here we go. Yeah, that's what was supposed to happen. I should have aimed them more carefully, I guess. So yeah, it seems that uh, my... Wow, those are really cruising. Okay, so... There we have it. Wow, four Separatrons will really, really fling a probe body out there. But... Hey, check that out. We've got something, sort of, kind of, of a satellite network. <laughs> it's really not a network, is it? It's more of a hodgepodge. Let's see if there's any... Nope, there's none of them even nearby anymore. So, let's deorbit this hunk of junk. Don't want, don't need, of all of the crap I just put up here, I don't need this hanging around. How much fuel do I have? Eh, a fair amount. Come on, rotate. Oh, I lost all those probe bodies. Now I have zero. I have zero rotational power. Well, let's just wait until we're facing more or less retrograde. How about that? Perhaps this is coming down. It's going to be weird, but it's coming down. All right, we've got... All right, cool. No sweat. We're down. Let's just burn up the f rest of the fuel. Just in case. Usually you don't want to, you know, have something that's going to heat on re-entry with a ton of fuel left. Spinning and burning. <laughs> Excellent. This is how you deorbit. <laughs> All right, we're going to hit the atmosphere. I still and then we have the reentry effects, but nothing still nothing else. So let's Cut this in half. Double, double speed it down to the gr into the ground. Oh, right. Right into this huge crater on Kerbin. Very nice. So, with that, that has been Kerbal Space Program. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I'm Ben, and I am bad at flying rockets. <laughs> uh, I hope you all enjoyed that, and I will see you in the next episode.